Tonight at 10, Kyiv under attack as Russian troops could be as close as 12 miles from Ukraine's capital. Parts of the city came under a barrage of airstrikes overnight, damaging residential buildings and streets. NATO condemned Russia's actions. President Putin's uh, decision to pursue his aggression against Ukraine is a terrible strategic mistake for which Russia would pay a severe price for years to come. Russian armoured vehicles were filmed entering the capital. Ukraine's president tells his people that only they can protect their country. This morning we are alone in defending our country, just like yesterday. The most powerful forces in the world watch from afar. <laughs> Soldiers try to maintain order at Kyiv's railway station as people try to flee. Across the country, people say they're worried. Uh, I'm scared for, for my life, for my kids. Uh, I'm scared for my country. But this is, you know, the, the fear that is transformed into anger. And stay with us on BBC News for continuing coverage and analysis from our team of correspondents in the UK and around the world. Hello, good evening. Welcome to an extended BBC News at 10. The outskirts of the Ukrainian capital, Kyiv, are tonight under Russian attack. The country's president, Volodymyr Zelensky, has urged the army to stand firm in the face of the assault, saying it's all the country had. He said the international community has left his nation to fight alone, and he urged civilians to help defend their country. Russia's president, Vladimir Putin, called on the Ukrainian military to seize power from its own government. Let's take a look at some of today's key developments as the full-scale attack took place for a second day. Russian troops are closing in on the capital. Their military vehicles have been filmed entering the city. And in the last few hours, multiple explosions have been reported. Exact figures are unknown, but there are reports of large numbers of Ukrainian casualties, both military and civilian, since the invasion began, and of Russian military deaths. Streams of people in cars and on foot have been crossing from Ukraine into Poland, Romania and Hungary. The UN Refugee Agency believes up to five million people may try to flee abroad. There's fierce fighting in many parts of the country, with Russian troops advancing from the north, from the east and from Crimea in the south. But tonight, all eyes are on Kiev. There have been exchanges of fire in the north of the city, which was reached by an advance party of Russian troops. Ukrainian authorities say 18,000 machine guns have been handed out to volunteers who want to defend their capital. While Russia claims it's taken control of the Hostomel airfield to the northwest of the city, important for international cargo and a key military airbase. In our first report tonight, our correspondent Nick Beek looks at the day the nation's capital came under attack. 